Hello everybody. So today we are going to learn about ABAP work processes. How many work processes are there? What are the services? So as you see in this slide, the ABAP work processes are dialog, update, and queue, spool, and background. <coughs> and the two other processes which runs behind these five work processes. And they are dispatcher and message server. We will discuss each about. Okay, so let me do a practical. Uh, so if you, so the first one is like as I said, that is a dialogue work process. So there should be minimum two dialog work processes required per dispatcher that need to be configured per instance. This work process executes the transaction as required and communicates with the database instance process. So I have, as I have discussed before that about the instance okay so we need to have a database instance we need to have the application instance okay and what are the central instance what are the services are required for running those central instance okay so we need to have minimum two dialog work processes if you configure less than two then your recipe won't start at all it could create a problem then you know again you have to uh, configure that to at least three four five okay so minimum you need to keep at least two dialog work processes okay so second is background work processes background work processes this is nothing but a background work processes executes programs that run with without interacting with the user. At least two background processes are required for each SAP system. More than one background work process for each dispatcher can be configured. So if you see when you work in the company, you will see a lot of users are working on the SAP system. So they usually whenever they do anything, it will first go to the data work process. Okay. Because in the dialog work processes, it will do the activity immediately. So for example, if you're running any program which is taking more than 10 minutes, then you need to set that program in background work process. Otherwise, what will happen if you are running any long programs in a dialog work process, then you will get dumps, okay? You will get errors, you will get issues and you know program will be interrupted program will be corrupted so you know a lot of issues will be arising there so keep in mind that when you are configuring the dialog work processes you know the the user who is running the program more than you know the 10 minutes i mean like more than 600 seconds he needs to run those, that program in the background work process that's why we schedule background work processes the reason why we are uh, i'm talking about background process means if you see in the daytime, lot of the users are logging into the machine. Okay, lot of users are working, and in the night time, nobody is working. So, if you see, we will be learning the operation mode where you know we can, for example, say if we have three uh, dialog work processes, right? If you have three dialog work processes, or say five, and if you have a two background work processes running in a day, okay. So what you can do, you can switch automatically the dialog to 2 and background to 5 in the night time. So in this way, you know, it will be easy for everybody and their programs will run in a particular time given by them. So this is very, very important concept regarding this and how we are going to change this configuration settings, we will be learning in the chapter operation modes, okay. So just here I was explaining about the difference between dialog and work background work process. And the third process is we call it as NQ 
work process. So basically, NQ work process, uh, only one NQ process exists in each SAP system because this process ensures that updates are serialized with the help of a log table. Okay, so minimum uh, one NQ process will be in the SAP system. So and the fourth work process is update work process. What is update work process is how it indicated as I said like uh, dialog indicated by D background is work process indicated by letter B NQ work process indicated by E and update work process indicated by V okay uh, not U, I will tell, because in update work process, we have V1 and V2, they define, okay, so you need to have minimum one update process and more than one process per dispatcher is allowed. So this process takes care of processing update requests. So this basically take care of your update request. Okay, so you need to have a minimum one update work processes. Next, fifth work process is what we call as a spool work processes and this is indicated by S. Okay, so minimum one spool process is required and more than one process per dispatcher is allowed. This process passes sequential data to output devices such as printers. So here when you learn the topic printers there we come across this spool work process and when you are learning a background job scheduling background jobs you will come across that background work process and when you are learning about the dialogue work process you will learning how to set up the dialogue work processes how to set the parameters for this you all are going to see this okay so now these are the five work processes as I said apart from this there are other two processes we call it as a dispatcher work process what is dispatcher work process? There is one dispatcher work process per application instance, okay, and per each dialog instance. This is very, very important. I will write it. I mean, like, there should be minimum one dispatcher work process for application, per application, and you need to have per dialog instance. So, you need to have a minimum of one dispatcher work process per application instance and per each dialog instance. If there is one central instance and one two dialog in an SAP system then there will be three dispatchers, right? So that is what I am telling. So you need to have one dispatcher per application and per dialog instance. So if you have one central instance and two dialog instance in an SAP system then there will be three dispatchers. So what is the role of dispatcher? The role of dispatcher is to distribute incoming requests to the ABAP work threads. So this is a very big concept and the main role of dispatcher. SAP sometimes won't start if dispatcher unable to get the incoming requests right from the ABAP work processes. So if the dispatcher starts then all the ABAP work process will start. Okay. So when you know how to start and stop the SAP system you need to see what, how many uh, process, uh, how many process are running, okay, how many dialogues, how many background are there in a server, okay, so you will be seeing all those things in practical. So I hope you understand the processes and lastly, I told that there is one more we call as a message work, message server. So what is message server? Message server is also a kind of process and you will have only one message server exists in the SAP system and it is installed on the central services instance. So what is the role of um, message server means it is basically responsible for communication between the dispatcher of each SAP instance within the same SAP system. So as I said like when you start the SAP system the message server will talk to dispatcher to get the incoming request from all the ABAP work processes. Okay, so this is you need to have minimum one message server. Okay, 
So this is how uh, it is. It has the work process has been designed in such a way that you know uh, what the purpose, what's the role of dialogue, what's the role of background, and queue up there is full and so and so. So as you see there, you know when SAP uses basically the acronym uh, D V E E M G S X X. So if you know this, you know need to uh, learn if. Uh, how many work process are there means like simply D V E B M G S. What is that? Nothing but dialogue, update, and queue, background, message, gateway, and is pull. Okay, I uh, forgot to tell about the gateway also. When uh, it's gateway, what is a gateway? Basically, gateway is uh, you need to have exactly one gateway per dispatcher in an SAP system. So the gateway is nothing but it used to allow communication between different SAP systems. So if you have more than one SAP system, then uh, if you want to communicate with other systems, then you need to configure gateway. Okay. So that's why that gateway service also, they will configure an SAP uh, system. So the, you need to have exactly one gateway per dispatcher in an SAP system. So the gateway, uh, as I said, like it's usually communicate. So this is what it indicated by this acronym. D V E B M G S X X. X X is nothing but your instance number. As I have told that X X is nothing but instance number. And in how many instance number will be there? From 00 to 99. You can create this number of instance. It's nothing but it denotes an SAP instance within the SAP system. So it requires for SAP to run. So for example, if I say if an SAP system comprises of one central instance with number 01, okay, and um, I will take an example to go define. For example, in an SAP system, you have one central instance, right? And uh, for one central instance, you are giving the instance number as 01, okay? And two dialog instance, right? Um, with the number 02 and 03, right? Then the SAP system is said to be comprised of how? D, V, E, B, M, G, S, 01, okay? Similarly, D, V, E, B, M, G, S, 02, similarly, 03 instances. So like this, you will get three instances. So as for three instances means, you, you need to have a three dispatcher. So this is how the work process works. So in the further sessions, you I will be going to explain each and every detail like background, uh, work processes, um, and NQ, uh, update, school, everything, okay? So this is the overview of all the work processes and services which are need for SAP to run. Thank you so much for attending this session.